Now another way of doing this is a lot of horse riders use a big western belt and they've got a big buckle on the front there. If you get that belt and do it up like so with that buckle so that it fits under that jawline there, when the horse tries to get its head down, it'll come up against that big buckle and it'll jam in its windpipe. Once it hits there a couple of times, the horse will keep its head up. It'll stop it getting its head between its legs and really bucking hard. It won't stop them holler backing at times or it won't stop them pig rooting, but at least it'll stop them getting their head down and really going to town. Another method I've used which works exceptionally well is with this. Now that's a wind sucking vice and if you put that on in the same position right up there behind the jawbone it has the same effect only possibly a bit better. Pull it up tight Then let your horse feel it. That horse won't try and get its head down, but if it did, it would come up against its windpipe and it would stop it. You can see how that system does work. I haven't got an uh, overhead check bridle here, but most of you would be aware of the uh, overhead check bridle that's used on a trotting horse. It's got an extra bit in there which comes up through here and back onto the trotting saddle. Now I have uh, with my stock saddle put a piece of wire across both D's, tight, adjust that up so the horse's head is approximately in that position. Again it's stopping the horse from getting its head down between its legs and making it move forward.